Here we're going to talk about putting fractions into lowest terms, or sometimes it's called simplest form, reduced form. Um, and where you're going to run into this is on the test if you uh, do a problem and the answer is a fraction, but when you look at the choices for the answer, you don't see your fraction, you don't see your answer. It might be because your answer is not in lowest terms. So when you talk about lowest terms, or again, sometimes it's called simplified form, reduced form, redu reduced terms. It simply means in, in the lowest terms, the numerator and the denominator, they cannot be divided by the same number evenly. So for example, 2 6, the numerator 2 and the denominator 6 can both be, be divided by 2 evenly. And if we do that, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now 2 6 is really the same as 1 third. Now there's no number other than 1 that can be evenly divided into 1 and 3. So this is lowest terms for this fraction. If we look at a fraction like 24 over 36, here, um, well, and I will say, if you don't know how to recognize whether a number is divisible by, we'll say, 2 through 10, watch the video on the Facebook page called Divisibility, and that will teach you to recognize how, how do you know what numbers can be divided into each of these. So we know that 2 can be divided into each of these. So we can do that, and we end up with 12 eighteenths, but 2 can also be divided into both of those numbers, so we're not in lowest terms yet. So we'll divide this by 2, well, both 6 and 9 can be divided by 3 evenly, so we'll divide by 3 and we end up with two-thirds. Now there is no number that can evenly be divided into two and three, except for one, but one doesn't count. So this is lowest terms. This fraction and this fraction, 2436, are the same. They, they're, they're essentially the same fraction, it's just that this is in lowest terms. So if your answer came out like this, but this was the answer on the test, then you got the right answer. You just need to put this in lowest terms. Now, we divided by 2 and then by 3 a couple times, but there's alternate ways to do this. So we could have recognized that, oh, 24 and 36 can also be divided by 4. So if we started with 4, we would have got 6 ninths, and oh, both of those can be divided by 3, and we end up with 2 thirds. So we took an alter, alternate route, but we still got the same answer. We could have also recognized that they can be divided by 6. We would have gotten 4 6. That can be divided by 2. And again, we get the same answer. So there's multiple ways to do this. The most direct route would be to recognize that, oh, both of these can be divided by 12. And we would have gotten our answer in one step. But again, it doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you get to the final answer where you are in lowest terms, where your numerator and denominator cannot both be divided by the same number evenly. We're going to do one more example. Fifteen over eighty. You should recognize that both of these numbers can be divided by five. And we end up with three sixteenths. Now, there's no number other than 1 that can go evenly into both 3 and 16. 
So this is our answer in lowest terms.